Hi. My name is Rob and I would like to tell you about Jesus Christ. I thought you were here to install my cable. I don't need to know about this Jesus Christ. Are you sure? If you were to die right now do you know for sure if you would go to heaven? Well, I am pretty sure that I would go to heaven. And why are you pretty sure? Well, I am a good person. I try to treat people the way I would like them to treat me. I have never killed anyone or done anything real bad. I even give to charities from time to time, and even go to church now and then. Well, let me ask you, have you ever told a lie no matter how small? Well, yes. Have you ever stolen anything ever? Yes. Did you know that Jesus said that if you even look at another with lust you have already committed adultery in your heart? Have you ever looked at another in lust? Yes, I guess so. So, by your own admission, you were a liar, a thief and an adulteress. Well, with what you are saying, then no one is good enough to go to heaven. That is correct. The Bible tells in Romans chapter 3 as it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And in chapter 5, therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all have sinned. And in Romans chapter 6, for the wages of sin is death. Eternal separation from God. Or in other words, eternity in hell. So are you saying that everybody is going to hell? No. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And God's Son. Is it that this Jesus Christ you speak of? Yes, it is. Okay. Tell me more about this Jesus Christ. Well, because Jesus Christ is the Son of God, he was able to live a totally sinless life. He took it upon himself to pay the penalty for our sin and died on the cross. Because of what he did the penalty for our sin has been paid for. Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 say that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. How do I know that God would listen to me? Romans 10, 13 says, For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you saying that if I call on the Lord and ask him to forgive me from all my sin and to come into my life, that he would do that and in God's eyes it would be as though I have never sinned? That is correct. Would you like to do that right now? Yes I would. Dear Lord, I know that I am a sinner. I am sorry for my sin and ask that you forgive me. I believe that you are the Son of God and have died for my sin and have risen from the dead. Please come into my life and help me live a life pleasing to you. Amen. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. I guess I should get to installing your cable now. Can you please show me where your television set is?